Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have another quick tutorial for you guys and it's about stencils and how to use them to add like, uh, you know, extra details when you're, you know, texturing um, a prop or whatever. So I have this one right here. I delete everything. Just gonna add a few layer here and we're just gonna, we're gonna create something basic here. Let's go for the basic metallic here. There we go, something like that. A little bit of roughness going on there. Nothing too crazy because this is all about the stencil, not about texturing this thing, all right? So what we're gonna do uh, next is, uh, I wanna create another fill layer here, okay? And I'm gonna create a black mask and I'm gonna go with a paint layer over here. And let's go to the properties uh, uh, panel here. And uh, we're going to all the way to stencil right here. And I have quite a bit of like, um, already searches, or, you know, they're saved, so. I'm just gonna grab one of those stencils that I have here. Those are uh, personalized. I, I, I brought those into Susan Painter just to use them like this. So just gonna drag it and drop right there. And I'm gonna move that out of the way. So we have space, there you go. But now it's just covering the whole area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press S in the keyword. And with the right click, you're just gonna uh, zoom in or zoom out. And with the middle button of the mouse, you're just gonna uh, move it around. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll here and kind of just find the, uh, the the right position. But right now we are in perspective, so we're gonna switch to orthographic view with F6 or F5 to just switch around. And now we have a flat, uh, like a flat view of uh, whatever. So I'm just gonna find a uh, nice position. There you go. I think I actually placed this right here too and when I texture this prop. So I'm just gonna do the same thing right now. And I'm gonna just place it around there. There you go. And what I'm gonna do next is, I think I can just zoom out a little bit so we cover the whole corner to corner. There you go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find a nice brush here. I'm gonna delete that. And I'm gonna brush and I'm gonna kind of like, uh, yeah, that's not, that looks fine. Just to have a irregular kind of looking thing. Just gonna start, you know, uh, there you go. Brushing away, brushing away here. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. So now we add the stunts, we just, we can delete that. And let's say that you wanna uh, erase parts of this. You can either, uh, you can press X to switch to, uh, from white to black, and now you can erase parts that you probably don't wanna have, like extra details, there you go. And if you wanna add another stencil, you can just uh, go again Find the one that, uh, that you want. Let's say they have those splashes, probably. You're just gonna do the same thing. Drag it over there, move it out of the way. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna put it right over here in the corner. But I need to rotate this. So how do I do that? I just press S and uh, left click, and it's gonna allow you to rotate it. There you go. I'm just gonna place that one kind of right there. Just gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna put a little like that. Something like that. I'm just gonna. Oh, I have it in uh, in uh, that one. So I'm just gonna grayscale. I'm just gonna press X and see how it switches. So now I can actually paint it right there. There you go. And it has some little extra details, but I I can just just uh, go delete that, uh, switch it again, and delete the extras that I don't want. There you go. All right. And something like that. All right. So now uh, the thing. I do it like this is because you have now the ability to go here and add uh, another color for this. Just uh, you know, change it around, whatever. Uh, change the roughness of this. You have there you go. And if you want to add some height to it, you can also do that. But depends on whatever you're doing. So there you go. Or the other option is since this is like you know. Uh, we, we can do something, we can add another paint layer on top, I mean, um, a fill layer on top. Don't, don't panic, it's gonna be fine. Just gonna put it here, type planner. We're gonna type here, grunge, or grunge. And we're gonna select something like this one, and we're gonna switch this to subtract. And now we can just, you know, have it something like around that. So it's not entirely perfect. And we have a little bit of like, you know, details going on there. You see that? That's nice. So yeah, that, I use I use this uh, quite a bit. It helps a ton to bring a lot of the surface details, like uh, adding you know more extra little things, 
Now let's say that it when I switch to let me switch to the other one and just now actually I'm gonna save just I don't wanna lose this thing. All right, I'm gonna open the original one and go here. It's this one. Hold up a second. And there we go. So little details like those over there, that over here. You see that? I added a little bit of extra on top, that over there to create pills in the in the uh, like in the paint. So I added those by hand with the uh, with the stencil. So it helped quite a lot to add more details to the surface. So yeah, there you go. That's how uh, that's how to use uh, stencils to you know to add little extra details to your models. So hope you like it. Hope you learn how to do that. And uh, like I said before, you just need a fill layer, add a black mask to it, and you add a, a paint layer. Just right click, add paint, and drag and drop the stencil right there that you that you want. Whatever. Oh, remember if you have a a, a color, a picture, or whatever, you just drag and drop. And it's gonna convert it into a black and white uh, image, so you can use it as a stencil. It's an alpha. It's going to turn into an alpha or something like that. So that's how you, uh, you know, how you use it. And then if you want to kind of like control how much of this is going to show or take away or, you know, uh, weather it a little bit, you can just add another, uh, you know, uh, fill layer on top. Same way, add a fill layer and pick up grunge or whatever and just use the subtract. It's going to, you know, uh, help you with that. So, all right, that's, uh, that's the tutorial right there. Hope you like it and please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.